In this draft video, we're showing the current status of the mono tilt rotor cargo unmanned aircraft system. For those of you who have been following this project, some of this may be repetitive, certain parts will be new. We're showing here single item loads of ammunition crates, meals ready to eat, and water in joint modular intermodal containers. We're creating a mixed load by first placing a partition in the container and then inserting uh, the contents. We're replacing the standard door of the JMIC with a special flap door uh, which you'll see uh, used later in this video. Next we have the aircraft which had uh, been pulled out of a mill van because it folds and fits in a mill van and we're um, assembling it. Then we use uh, common ground support equipment to remove the pallet that the aircraft uh, is uh, delivered on. And then uh, we use a universal tow bar attached to a tug to uh, push the uh, aircraft out. The cargo pod here is being shown pulled out by two uh, ground support personnel. So now the tug and universal tow bar pull the aircraft onto what we're showing here is a properly dimensioned and marked LHD. We're going out to spot two. Uh, then you'll see the wing panels which have a new feature uh, for many of you uh, which is um, that we can when we fold the wing panels we can lock them at 20 degrees of droop. That provides two uh, benefits, one of which is shown here. The wingtips can behave as uh, outriggers to stabilize the aircraft should the, uh, the ship's deck uh, pitch or heave or roll. Uh, next we're showing a uh, member of the ground crew tilting the cargo pod, pushing it over to JMIX, and then the uh, cables, which are, have hard fairings around them, being pulled over and connected to the uh, struts of the uh, suspension struts. The aircraft pivots on a, a center wheel, which you've seen there. Next we're showing takeoff. The aircraft takes off and then lifts the uh, cargo pod. The cargo pod envelops and streamlines the joint modular containers. Uh, the wings deploy, lock into a streamlined configuration, and then the aircraft uh, tilts over into uh, an axial uh, cruise mode. We cruise out into a mountain it's terrain for a point-to-point -point delivery directly from the LHD to the mountaintops. Uh, here we're uh, dropping a container, first dropping the spreader bar and then the container. Next we're showing unlatching uh, uh, that flap door and then tilting the container to allow half of the contents to be discharged. That way we can deliver the contents, of course, without needing to retrograde the container. Uh, next we're showing vert rep, where first we're delivering two full containers, and then we have the cargo pod configured to capture and pick up uh, what we're showing here, six empty and folded uh, JMIX. Finally, we're showing the uh, landing procedure. Uh, the cargo pod lands is released and then the aircraft lands and you'll see again that center line wheel uh, of the aircraft. Next what you'll see is uh, three video clips of three fundamental features of the MTR. First we're demonstrating here again at a small functional level the um, pitch axis suspended cargo pod. We lift the cargo pod vertically and then move forward into uh, forward flight where the two bodies fly in formation and then we land first the cargo pod and then uh, the aircraft. Of course we have two landing procedures. One would be as shown here where they land connected or what we found through a CONOP study perhaps a preferred approach is to uh, release the cargo pod and then land the aircraft. Second we're showing the fundamental feature of the aerodynamically deployed wings where we get deployment for free um, using aerodynamic forces without any need for additional actuating structure on the aircraft. So we aerodynamically deploy, uh, lock the spars into place, and then to recover the wing panels we unlock the spars and then slow the forward flight of the aircraft and the wing panels uh, gradually uh, descend. Next what you'll see is the uh, tilting centerline rotor. We essentially took a helicopter and grafted an airplane to it took off vertically and then tilted the helicopter over towards an axial mode of flight. I didn't mention that the drooping wings that are not shown here by the way but by drooping them 20 degrees we avoid most of the download on the wings whenever the vehicle is hovering. 
this video, this brief here, was shown uh, and developed for Fort Rucker for their joint multi-role industry day. We were invited in to brief, and we're showing here that by that we can create an attack configuration quickly by uh, by simply removing the suspension strut, replacing it with sponsons that go out on the left and right side of the aircraft, and then hanging armaments on those sponsons. Uh, this concludes the video. What you'll see here is a list of selected reference documents dating back from uh, the origination of this work with a 2004 concept study at the Office of Naval Research up to the present. Thank you.